Israeli police say an explosion on a bus in Jerusalem was caused by a bomb. At least 15 people have been injured, two of them seriously. The report said the bus was empty and the people who were hurt were traveling in a different bus nearby. Greg Karlstrom is following the story for us from Tel Aviv. Still a lot that is unclear about this incident. What we do know, what we've heard from the Jerusalem Police Department, uh, is that there was a bomb planted on this bus, went off towards the back of the bus, and it would eventually set two buses on fire, uh, as well as a number of private cars. Two people have been seriously injured in this explosion, another six moderately hurt, all of them taken to Jerusalem hospitals. Uh, the bombing happened at around 6 o'clock in the evening, right at the height of the rush hour in Talpiot, which is an industrial zone uh, just south of the city center in Jerusalem. happened on a major road that uh, is used by many commuters throughout the day in Jerusalem. Uh, there's been no claim of responsibility yet. Uh, no Palestinian militant group, no other group has claimed responsibility from this. Uh, and the Israeli police say it's too early to start talking about suspects. Uh, but this comes amidst a, a six-month wave now of Palestinian stabbing and shooting attacks. Uh, they began in October amidst some uh, religious tensions in Jerusalem. Uh, and of course, on Friday begins the Jewish holiday of Passover. Now, many of these tensions are related to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which Jews know as the Temple Mount. Uh, it's a site that is sacred to both Jews and Muslims. And the Passover holiday typically brings uh, a large number of Jewish visitors going up to the plateau uh, to visit and to pray. And so, uh, once again, religious tensions are building in Jerusalem. And while it's too early to say uh, exactly what happened with this bombing, uh, this certainly could have played a role uh, in this explosion.